Hi everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter and I am here with a project featuring the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. Now I got this in the mail the other day and I was pleasantly surprised at how quick and easy this was to use. So today I'm going to be making a gift card envelope with this. I thought it would be perfect with Christmas just around the corner. But you can make several different sizes of envelopes all the way up to a six by eight and a half envelope and all the measurements are right here on the punch board. I did also want to show you that it comes with a sticker for all of our friends who are overseas who use the metric system. So it converts that to the metric system and then there are full size instructions and measurements here as well that come with the punch board. But I'm not going to be editing out any of the first part of the actual creation of the envelope because I do want to show you how quickly it comes together. So I'm going to be making the gift card envelope and it says to start out with a paper size of five by five and a score line of two inches. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side. I'm going to bring in some paper. This is from mm, the five and dime collection from October afternoon and it's not necessarily a Christmas paper but I'm going to be making a Christmas project with it. So I'm going to cut my paper down to five by five. And then I'll bring my punch board back in. And if you'll recall, I am to start with a two inch score line. So I'm going to go ahead and put my paper right on here, line it up with the two inch score line. I have my scoring tool right here that's kept in the scoreboard and I found that the best way to score this is try, instead of trying to find the score line up here to just start from the outside and work in. And then while I have it in that position I'm going to punch it in that place as well. And then on the second from for the second score and all the rest of the scores. I'm going to line up the score line with this marker right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's lined up with the marker. So I'm not going to pay attention to the measurements anymore. And I'm going to punch and score there as well. And then I will do that again, lining it up with the score line or the, the marker, not the measurement. And I'm going to punch and score and one more turn, lining it up with the score line, punch, and score. So I have all of my scoring done for the envelope and I can just take this now and put it in the opposite side of the punch and punch to round all of these corners. And just as simple as that, I have my envelope ready to put together. Now to seal up my envelope, I'm just going to use a little bit of this Be Creative tape in the 1 8 inch wide. And I'm just going to put it on the two flaps here. and then I could seal that up. Now that's the first part and that's as quick and easy as it comes as far as making a gift card envelope. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of embellishment on this, so I'm not going to seal it up just yet. I have a Starbucks gift card here and this is my own personal, so I have the number covered on the back. But I thought it would be fun to put a little window in the front of this envelope where you could see actually the Starbucks card through it. And this would work with any logo that you had. You would just want to find a die that coordinates with that. So I am going to place this piece of vellum so that I can see where my logo is. And I'm going to take this nesting oval shape from Lifestyle Crafts. I'm going to place it over there and I'm going to use just some of this Eclipse Art masking tape to kind of hold that in place. Now this piece of vellum is just a scrap piece of vellum that I kind of tore just to make it the same size. And this is just creating my template. So I'm going to go ahead and set my envelope aside. I'll bring in my evolution tool 
and my genius cutting mat and I will just place this piece of vellum and the die blade side up on there and put my A plate over and then I can just run this through. And now I just have my template. So I will take my template and I will place it on the front of my envelope here and it will probably be easier for you to tell, be able to understand where the score lines are if I fold that in. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to slide my die back into that hole and this is just helping me create the window in the correct spot and then I can just remove the template by tearing that edge. I can still use it again by just putting those ends back together and I will just use this tape again, this Eclipse Art Masking Tape to hold that die in place and run it through my evolution one more time. So now I have a nice little window in the front of my card and when my gift card is in there, you'll be able to see what type of gift card it is. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to embellish this. I have this snowflake border die from Lifestyle Crafts. I'm not sure the exact name, but you can always get links over um, to the products over on my blog. And I'm just gonna tear off a piece of vellum and I want this snowflake here, so I'm just gonna place my vellum over that and run that once again through my evolution. And because this is a border die I and they're all connected, I'm just gonna do a little bit of trimming to make this a single snowflake all by itself. So I just have to cut a couple little ends here just to make this snowflake stand kind of on its own. So I have that there. I'm gonna go ahead and close up this envelope. I'll just remove the backing from the Be Creative tape. And I'll show you how cool that little window is there. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of ribbon to tie this closed. Now I'm gonna use a little cheat here. I'm kinda just gonna make a band with the ribbon and use a glue dot to hold that in place and then place a bow over the top of that. I've gone ahead and just tied a little bow out of that same satin ribbon and I will just stick it over the top of that seam there. And the other nice thing that this does is that the recipient doesn't have to untie the bow. They can just slide this off and then you can slide it back on. So you can create this ahead of time, slide off the ribbon, and then put your gift card in there and then slide the ribbon back on. And you can kind of add things or take things out as you need. I'm going to slip this snowflake onto the front as well. I'm going to use a glue dot for that. I'm gonna kinda roll it up in my fingers and put it right in the center. I'm gonna be covering the center with a little enamel dot, so you won't be able to see that glue dot under there. And I'm gonna hide those ends that I cut as best I can under the bow. I'm gonna let the snowflake kinda drift over into the window there. And I'm careful not to cover the ribbon with my glue dot as well so that they can slip off that. Finally, I'm just going to take one of these enamel dots from my mind's eye, the sweetest thing here, and I'm just going to cover the center of the snowflake with this. And here is my completed gift card envelope. These little envelopes come together super fast and easy with the envelope punch board. Here's another version I made using some green polka dot pa paper and I placed a banner and stamped to from on the bottom. For information on any of the products I used in this video, go ahead and head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. There's links to all the products there. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.